Hello, this is Michael with Zentail, and today we're going to review how you can add new SKUs to your Zentail catalog using the Amazon flat file template or the Amazon category listing report, as you'll see it listed in our user interface. So, first thing I've done is I've used the uh, sample flat file for your clothing report. I filled in some information and I highlighted a few columns that I know I'm going to use every time, uh, especially when I'm adding new SKUs into Zentail. If you want to, um, it's probably much easier considering how many columns are here. So just hide anything that you're never going to need to use. And as you're editing the data in your catalog, or editing the, editing the data or adding new SKUs using these files, it'd be much easier for you to, to actually keep track of everything. So this is already filled out for me. I'm, what I'm doing is adding one product group for Michael's tees. It's going to vary by color and size. Um, I've added in some dummy UPC codes. I have my standard price. My bullet points I've only included in the first one because it's going to apply to all of them. And my search terms. Um, we are labeled here as your generic keywords. If you're using that, this will show up in Centel as your tags. And then one thing to take note of is your parent SKU. With Zentel, uh, we have an actual SKU will be considered your master. So to create a product group, I'm just using my uh, yellow extra small t-shirt. That'll be the master SKU for this entire product group. So for parent SKU, that's exactly what I put in for everything that I want to be a part of that group. So now that I'm all set, I'm just going to make sure this is saved. It's a .xlsx, which is fine for me. It can also be saved as a text file, uh, as long as it's uh, tab delimited. Otherwise, a CSV or .xls are both uh, good alternatives for the format. Um, once that it's saved, I can go back into our Zentail catalog. We're going to import this in the import data page. And these category listing reports are generally going to be most useful uh, when onboarding your, during your onboarding process. But if you are really comfortable adding SKUs this way, uh, you can also take advantage of it throughout your lifetime with Zentel. So it will be under the onboarding section, your report types, and Amazon category listing report. So I'll go through the next steps here. And once I'm all set, I will start the import. And just like any other import into Zentel, you'll be brought over to the previous imports tab. And it will start processing. All right, and then depending on the size of, of the report you're importing, uh, it could vary in taking just a few seconds to a few minutes to a few hours if you're uh, onboarding for the first time and, and uploading a catalog that has tens of thousands of SKUs. So now we'll see how things look. I'll go to my catalog. And these are all Michael's t-shirts. And they're in the active section, that's great. I didn't import any, any uh, pictures with them, but we do have a section for that for your image URL. And these are all grouped together, just as I wanted them to be, same sales price. And there you go, if you, um, want to make any adjustments, you can either do them for each SKU individually, or you can take advantage of our import-export field. I think the best best practices overall for using the uh, this category listings report is to upload the items, how you're used to uploading them into Amazon, but just direct upload them directly into Zentail and list them on each channel. And then perhaps have another export that you use for each SKU where you have all of your Handle overrides if you take advantage of them for titles or descriptions, etc. 
So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you have more questions, please reach out to us using the chat feature or support at centel.com. Thank you.